What's up YouTube? Uh, another quick video, just thought I'd do a little uh, demo review type thing of the Planet Waves um, NS Pro Capo or Capo depending on where you live. Um, I'll do a close up and show you uh, it in action. Now it's Didario slash Planet Waves um, and how it compares to a cheap, this is a black rat, I think, PMT, his own own thing, um, non-adjustable, heavy, not that that really makes much difference, but this is, is the Diodario Planet Waves NS Pro Capo, um, which is adjustable via its micro adjustment dial, um, a lot smaller, a lot lighter. This one is the Pro, um, and it's it's a bit hard because it's black, and everything in this room is black. But anyway, you see it in a close-up. It's the, the difference between the Pro and the, just the NS Capo is that the NS Capo is made out of ABS plastic, and the Pro is made out of some kind of like. Uh, aeronautical aluminium type stuff uh, really light really strong and for a difference of about a fiver I thought well let's just get the pro one uh, so the reason I, I know a few songs of a capo um, and I've got a couple of guitars and I was I was content with this at first with the idea of this I thought you know what just any old cheap capo uh, would do it um, the problem is, uh, like a lot of things, when you don't really know, you don't read up on stuff, you find problems uh, as you go. And with with one of these, which is just a spring, um, I don't know, loaded capo, it clamps at its maximum force always. Um, so there's no obviously way of adjusting the clamping force. So as I put it on a guitar and it clamps, everything went sharp um, a lot. It was out of tune. So I had to obviously then retune, um, and it was in, it was different for each guitar, and it, it just took it, it, you know like it didn't take too long. But I'm lazy, and who isn't? And, um, and I thought you know what, right, this sucks. And then obviously I'm using the same guitar to then I want to play something standard tuning and you have to keep messing about with the tunings. A lot of pissing about. I don't like pissing about. So I decided to buy this one, which is um, it's a screw and a knob, and that's and it clamps. Uh, there's no springs on it. So I'll show you it in action and why it's better than a standard spring capo. So if I do a close up, and what I'll show you is, um, I'll show you me putting it on the guitar, and then um, I'll show you the guitar plugged in and tuning it, so you can see, um, you can see exactly how out of tune it might go with this. Um, there we'll go from there. All right, so here is my um, it's a PRS SE Mark Tremonti, and um, it's got a sizable neck really quite thick. If I, I'll show you just how, how you put this on the, um, the adjustment dial as you can see it closing up you can unwind it it will open up. Uh, you place it on wherever you want and you just simply wind it up until you've got the optimum pressure to press all the strings down with no buzz but you don't want to go too hard because otherwise your strings will go sharp. So, the guitar was already in standard tuning. Uh, now the capo has been placed on the second fret. So now it's been placed on, I've adjusted it so that it's not too tight, 
that there's um, the strings are sharp, but it's not too loose that there's any real buzz. So what I'll do now is show you uh, the tuner. Okay, so uh, now I've gone to a close-up of the tuner. Uh, it's just a built-in tuner on my floor uh, or pedal board for the actual for my Line 6 amp. Um, no comments about the amp, just uh, it is what it is. Right, so with no capo on, obviously we are in tune. Uh, now I'm going to put the, the Planet Waves NS Capo on. So I'm just adjusting it. So it's going a tiny bit sharp. We've got a bit of buzz. A bit more pressure. So as you can see, um, I've now I've got the happy medium between not having the strings buzzing, but also having the guitar, um, having the capo with enough pressure on it that it's in tune uh, at the tuning I want. The capo is, has been placed on the second fret, by the way. So there is a little bit of buzz, but it has started to go sharp. Um, it's only gone a tiny bit sharp, you wouldn't really be able to... I can't even hear that having gone sharp. You know, my ears aren't that great, but... Just the two lowest strings. So there you go. That's the um, the Planet Waves capo at the second fret. So now what we're going to do is I'll apply the Black Rat uh, capo. I believe it's a PMT own brand um, capo, but it's of similar quality to maybe like a Stag or something like that. I think it cost me nine pounds. Um, anyway, I'm going to apply it to the uh, same second fret. So, let's make sure we're in tune first. So I'll make it a fair test at least. And what we're aiming for, I'm just going to fret at the second fret. G sharp, uh, G flat, sorry. B, E, A, D flat, G flat. I'm going to now place the black crack capo onto that there second fret. And there we go, it's applied. There's no adjustments can be made, it's just clamped on. Uh, and that's what does that want to be? G or. Yeah, it's sometimes it's getting closer to a G. We want it to be a G flat, and we want this to be a B. Yeah, that one's not too bad. But as you can see, it is creeping up. It's it's getting closer to a C, but you know. So they've all gone slightly sharp. Um, you know, not bad if you then just want to, if you just want to play a, a, along on, on yourself, it, it works, but um, 
when you're playing along with a record, it's out. It, it's sharp enough that you hear it. Yeah, so that's the comparison between them both. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe, and uh, you know I might post some more cool stuff. So yeah, cheers, old peace.